Welcome there, guy. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at what is going on for you at the moment, and then we're going to um, talk about ways to help you through this process. Okay, um, so first off, we're re reading. We're using the um, cosmic reading cards, and which I've already done, by the way. Um, just to save time because it can take a while to get those out and also the Osho Zen Tarot is the other one I'm using to clarify. So let's get started Virgo, welcome. I am Juanita and um, my aim is to honestly help as many people as possible to heal themselves um, and I really need your help to help me do that. Um, so if you can subscribe or like or comment on this video, that would be wonderful. It's this exchange of energy, you know, so um, I would be so grateful and so would other people who this might help. Okay, so let's get to it. So we've got the first card here, Virgo, which is Worlds Between Worlds. I know it's backwards on the camera. Sorry, I, I, I'm not that flash. I wouldn't even know how to change that if I could. Okay, so... Um, with this Virgo, I feel like this here, it's, it's, it's about this inner and outer world, right? Like, um, what is going on for you is reflected on the outside. Okay. So what's going on for you within is reflected on the outer. Yeah. So, which is, I don't know, that kind of seems like it's obvious <laughs> in the picture, but it might not be. Um, but yeah. Virgo, it's really important for you to start to work on raising your vibration, okay, um, because inside of you, there are a, a heaps of different cells, right, so if, for example, if you're not well, yeah, um, you know, working on those cells, focusing on those cells, sending love to those cells to raise their vibration is going to make them a lot stronger and work harder. Okay, so when we're talking about that um, and talking about worlds within worlds, we're also talking about the fact that that's inside your body. Okay, it's like this universe inside your body. Yeah, and then on the outside of that, Earth is like a cell in the entire universe, like one cell. Yes, yeah? so what we're trying to do here is raise the vibration of Earth. Okay, so at the end of the day, it's a matter of us all contributing to that, okay? Um, it, it, this, and this will also help in your personal life as well. Um, oh, shivers, there was something that was coming through then, and I thought just completely it's gone out of my mind. Um, I was on a roll and then it was just stopped, and that could be actually something to do with you maybe in your life that you were going along quite nicely and something's come in and just gone bam change things for you um unexpectedly maybe um yeah kind of stopped you in your tracks in a sense so yeah let's have a look at worlds within worlds but there you go though okay beyond illusion yeah see looking beyond the illusion of what you can see in front of you to know that there's a lot more going on energetically um and and there's this bigger picture here yeah so um kind of taking that focus just away from your world in a sense and seeing that it's part of a bigger picture anything else oh okay living moment to moment going kind of like step by step it's as though Virgo um, <clears throat> it could be like you're trying to get to the end goal too quickly and um, and it is a matter of taking the step by step and getting your balance getting things into balance for you okay and we've also got sorrow so this could be um, really looking within and seeing what it is within you that needs healing because I feel like there's kind of this pushing away of that. Okay, so yeah, um, we're going to go on to the next card now, which is choices. And what I love about these cards, it's not always 
you know, like different things come through. I feel like um, with this, you there's some grounding that you need to do, spending time out in nature, getting your feet on the earth, okay? Um, but also looking at the truth, okay? Being honest with yourself. If you're, if you're unhappy with something or if you're not satisfied, say like with your job, um, in a, you know, it could be a relationship of any sort, friendship, and family ship, um, relationship, situationship, whatever, any ship. <laughs> um, if, you're, if you're not satisfied, <clears throat> okay, or if there's something in you that feels like there's this, this pull to go in another direction, then you need to listen to that and understand that you always have a choice Okay, even if that's a really hard choice to make, um, there's always a choice. Okay, the um, only thing that we have to do in life is breathe to live. All we have to do is breathe. Everything else is a choice. Okay, um, I feel as though this here is totality. Okay, so I feel as though there's this sort of this internal battle going on. <clears throat> um, with this here, this it also is saying to me that there's um, it's it's kind of a matter of going out and tr and and doing something differently and knowing that. It might take a little bit for you to, well, here, let me just explain this. Because these acrobats, right, they have to swing back and forth. And you can see that these two hands here are almost meeting, but not quite. And the fact that the light is on that particular area tells me that you're almost there. Okay, and it's just another swing back, and then it will, you know, everything will come together type of thing. Oh my gosh, trust. Yes, trusting that it's going to work, right? Trusting that this can actually happen. That you have it in you, you know, to be able to do this. You have it in you. Um, trusting your own self, yeah? Um, I feel like that's quite a big thing for you. Like you are not um, that trusting of yourself, to be honest. There's a lot of self-doubt that you hold within and whether that's from other people externally from you, um, laying that on you and putting that on you, I'm not sure. It could have even been from when you were a child. But anyhow, golden crown. Golden crown. Now, I love this card here. The eyes are so piercing. Um... This really, Virgo, is about giving yourself permission to shine your light, okay, to, to be the guide for other people, yeah. Um, the one thing with this, though, is just be aware of when you're envious of, of other people and when you are judging other people so it's almost as though Virgo sometimes you see people potentially above you or below you okay and it's really been aware of the fact that you do that and that's not to say that you're bad or terrible or anything like that a lot of people do that and part of this is just you know part of this um, bringing these cells and and you know, raising this vibration is to start to be aware of these things that we do so that we can raise the vibration because judgments are a low vibration, okay, and so is envy. So changing that um, is, is something that potentially you may need to work on, okay. What have we got here? Ordinary, ordinariness. That's really hard to say. I don't know why. I feel like there's been something that um, you've been growing here. Um, it, it, and this could very well be in your business, but it could be a relationship or something along those lines too. And I feel as though like you have worked super hard at what it is that you've been doing and... 
things have come to fruition and it's almost like now you're kind of like is this really what I want um, the other thing I want to say about that is it could very well be that there's been another opportunity for you or someone else has caught your eye and you're like oh hang on a minute and it really is being honest with yourself that if you were fully invested in what it is that is currently going on for you you wouldn't be having that distraction okay so you know and there's nothing wrong with that you can always manage that in an ethical way you know but uh it's it's been honest with yourself stress i feel like yeah see look you're trying to manage everything okay and it's causing you stress you're trying to balance everything and it's just stressful and you feel like everything's gonna blow okay um This, again, this is this internal battle, and I feel like um, it really is a matter of you really needing to go within and allow, uh, to really look at what it is that you have within you that you can share with the world, okay? Uh, because at the moment, I don't really feel like you're on your path that um, is your calling, to be honest, you've worked hard, you've gone along and you've done all the stuff, but it's not necessarily what it is that you want to do. Okay, um, next up here we have Mother Earth. Um, this is really about expressing your gifts, which is what I was just saying, right? Expressing, expressing your gifts to help others connect. So like, if you were to say like go on another path and actually do what it is that is you are passionate about okay you would inspire others to do the same because what happens is when we do do what we're passionate about it comes through in more ways than one yeah a hundred percent it does and it, because it's from the soul and I feel like this is a crossroads for you at the moment, Virgo, where you really feel like, because you can see this, like, it's like this person here is holding the earth in its, you know, in its hands. But it's like, to me, it's like this person is earth, if you know what I mean, which is kind of the same worlds within worlds. We're all part of the same thing. You know, it may look different on the outside, but realistically on the inside, we have the universe inside of us and we are the universe, you know. So, yeah, it's it's very important for you to to nurture uh, what is what your heart desires. OK, so that the outer world can start bringing that to you. Okay, so that you can start reflecting that in your outer world so that others, you know, so that gives you a way to shine your light, okay? To lead the way because it does feel like you're quite a leader, Virgo, and you, if you don't feel like you are, that's self-doubt creeping in, uh, but you have the ability to lead and there are people who will absolutely um, benefit from what it is you have to offer. interesting thunderbolt so something has come in quite um quite suddenly or this is a change that you will make in your world that will cause maybe this thunderbolt moment you know um again i really feel like grounding is super important for you we have this card here as well the burden Okay, at the moment, it's like you're carrying all this burden. Um, and it really is, it's like you want to go in one direction and everyone else wants to go in the opposite direction or in another direction. And you just, it it's kind of feels like there's so much inside of you that's screaming, no, I don't want to do that, but you're just not too sure how to actually um, break away 
and it really is just drawing on that courage, right? Um, yes, now, Sacred Journey. This year, this is... I feel like with this card here is what it's saying is that you're afraid of what may happen. You're afraid of this. You're afraid of the darkness, okay? You're afraid of the darkness within you because we all have darkness within us. We all have dark side, shadow self, whatever you want to call it, right? And I always say it's like the yin and yang symbol. There would not be a symbol without the dark part of it. Which, which represents us, that yin and yang, right? It, it exists everywhere. And, you know, we have night, which is dark. We have day, you know, we can't have night and then have day. Um, you know, night is there for day to come, right? For daylight to break. And and that's the thing, it's like, that. that's, you know, this breaking out is what I feel like, <sighs> kind of needs to happen for you you know but there's this fear within you about that um and also this you know this sometimes i wonder if you're afraid you're gonna blow like everything's becoming far too much and you're afraid you're gonna blow and um this is why i'm saying to ground yourself get out in nature that will help you um and also i'm just seeing writing things down writing down, burning it, you know, um, whatever you need to do, you know, a good good way um, is to actually write it on toilet paper and flush it down the toilet when you're done, okay. Um, very good way to, to get your emotions out at the time, okay, but let's have a look here, breakthrough, wow, <laughs> breakthrough, yeah. This is exactly what I was saying, right? And and that's what I kind of see for you is this massive, massive breakthrough. Um, the, and the thing is that also with this darkness as well, like this breakthrough I feel like is from the heart. Um, and I feel as though it's really important for you that if there's been hard times in the past um, and, and I've... <coughs> excuse me. It could be that for some of you, you are ashamed of maybe things that have happened in the past, but it's really important for you just to learn the lessons from those, okay, um, and do things differently, and yeah, that's what these things are sent to us for, right? Um, so anything else for Sacred Journey for Virgo? Yeah, not, not, not beating yourself up, not... not judging yourself right because remember a golden crown this is also about internal judgments yeah sacred journey the virgo adventure allow yourself yes look at this breaking through and enjoying the adventure that is waiting for you yeah, because I feel like there's been a couple of steps already that you've taken and you're really um, ready to go and, you you know, you're ready to learn something new, right? You're ready to have a new adventure, but things have to change in your life in order for that to happen and that, I feel, is holding you back. You're afraid to make those changes because it does impact other people. But the thing is that, Everyone has lessons to learn in their life, right? So whatever other people's lessons are in their life, this will also help them to learn lessons too, okay? Even though they might not see it that way to begin with, right? So next we have unconditional love. And I really, really love that this has popped up for you here. This here, unconditional love. Look, you know, you ask any parent and they'll say, you know, do you love your kids and they'll say I love my kids unconditionally not true but the majority of parents not true and I'll tell you why this is because okay to love unconditionally means to love with 
no conditions, no demands, um, no judgments, okay, no restrictions, right? And there's, you know, like always we have expectations on other people, right? And this is something that makes unconditional love conditional. So if you love from a conditional place, you're going to be saying, listen, if, if you do this, you'll receive my love, right? If you don't do this, like when a kid misbehaves, the parents often, you know, scold them and let them know that they're not worthy of being loved at that moment, yeah? So really looking at how it is that this applies in your life and even further still, how it is that you do not give yourself conditional, uh, that you do not give yourself unconditional love. How is the love that you give yourself conditional if you give your love at all to yourself? Because I feel like maybe you just don't. Maybe you're too busy scolding yourself and saying, oh, you shouldn't have done that, that was stupid, and what'd you do that for, and harping uh -huh, on and on and on about all the things that you shouldn't have done, instead of being forgiving to yourself and saying, do you know what, let's learn from it and do something differently next time. It's okay, everyone makes mistakes, everybody. There is not one person in the world who has not made a mistake ever. Like, it's part of life, it's how we learn. Yeah, like when you were learning to spell you learned the words that you got wrong were the words that you remember more. Yeah, so it is really, really a matter of allowing yourself to love yourself conditionally. Okay, and this is also the thoughts in your head. What thoughts are going on and around in your mind that cause you to hurt your heart? Okay, so super important. Okay. The other thing with that is looking at past wounds and loving yourself anyway. All right, not being ashamed of anything from the past. Easy to say, I know, and it does take work. Isolation. It's like, Virgo, you've kept yourself in this ice, um, this ice block. And um, if you, it's like you can't get out of it, okay? Um, you've been incredibly hurt. Some of you have been incredibly hurt. And you've put this block around you of ice. You've, you've closed your heart. You've closed yourself off and gone cold, in a sense, right? To protect yourself, okay? And the thing is that at that time, that may have been, um your coping mechanism right um and it may have kept you safe for a bit but the thing is what didn't happen Virgo is that you didn't do the work and allow yourself to heal from that you just froze and by allowing yourself to let these emotions come up which is scary for you but let these emotions come up and the ice will melt The warmth of the tears will melt the ice. So see the tears and see the emotions as positive rather than negative, right? It's a different perspective. Change your perspective, yeah? And I'm sorry that that happened to you. The creator, you have the ability to create anything you want. Okay, and the thing with this here is allowing you to know what it needs, what needs to come to light out of the shadows and into the light is the only way to dissolve the darkness. The more you push it down and the more you ignore it and pretend it's not there, the more it keeps stepping and rearing its ugly head, right? Because it wants to be seen and it needs to be seen. Okay, next we have Believe. And this here is about taking a chance, right? Um, really, really following your heart, okay? Walking your truth, living your truth, okay? So that you can shine your light, okay? Um, 
it feels like for you that you look around you and see that all these other people are doing this and you don't believe that you either have the ability or that you deserve it or both right um this also i want to say is about giving cutting yourself some slack right if you make a mistake which in the past everyone's made mistakes forgiving yourself for that okay but if you make a mistake in the future and you know this could be holding you back as well um, and stopping you from moving forward because you're afraid to make a mistake or you're afraid to fail, right? So what if you fail? Okay. Don't take it so personally, okay? If you make a mistake, learn from it. Know how to do things differently next time and pop right back up and continue. As you were, Virgo, as you were right so yeah stop being so hard on yourself because i feel like you would really love to have this unconditional love in your life but you're so hard on yourself and you're keeping yourself so much in this ice block that it's can't even get in okay flowering this will allow you to flower this will allow you to flourish if you let it okay um like this lady here, look at her. She's just sitting there like, I'm the queen. <laughs> yeah, this is what I feel like is open for you to get to the space of being like this. Yeah. Um, also, you know, like going out and seeing the beauty around, seeing all the little things in the world that, you know, whether it's something flowering or an icicle or a you know, something amazing and, and really looking at the beauty of what this universe will, has to offer. Dropped all the cards then. Um, maturity. This will allow you to grow. This will allow you to colour in your world, right? And bring you out of this state here and allow unconditional love in internally and externally so that you can not only give it but also receive it because <clears throat> you deserve that anyway gratitude okay so gratitude this obviously you know we all know about gratitude right but what is this saying this is saying uh, uh, i don't even know where to start here this is about building walls Virgo and not 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 just about allowing nothing in, but also allowing nothing to escape. So what happens is your pain gets locked in. It has nowhere to go. Okay, it's a matter of bringing it up and out and letting it flow out. At the moment, you've got your walls so far up, the pain gets stuck. Okay, it keeps all that pain in. Okay, and, um, you know, when you feel gratitude for something, and this is why I say go out in nature and, and see all the beauty because you feel gratitude for that, right? Um, and it helps break the resistance that you have to your fears and, you know, to actually start to release some of the stuff that needs releasing here, okay? Um the other thing is that it's it's gratitude is really high vibe, okay? And so this is where when we're talking about the um the the cells within us and vibrating at a high level and um you know lifting up the energy of the planet, this is how we do it, right? With gratitude. Okay. So let's have a look. Anything else for gratitude here? Gosh, look at the time. You're going to have a long reading here. <laughs> but you need it. You need it, Virgo. I don't feel like I'm like, quick, 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 you know. It's like you totally need it. Gratitude for Virgo. Anything here? Anything further for that? You know, I, I really can see in this card how that will increase your vibration as well. Yeah. See, looking at 
Um, this is about the inner child for me. Um, and also looking at what it is that you're still focusing on something and you know that's already done and dusted. You know, you're still either beating yourself up or letting it hold you back, right? Instead of just turning around and going, okay, I'm walking away from that now and I'm going to um, move forward. Okay. Um, but like this card, how we were talking before, that you know, things have come to heart fruition now that's harvested um anything else for gratitude for Virgo the dream the dream this is you Virgo sitting here wishing you could have this whatever that dream is to you doesn't have to be in a romantic relationship okay um that you you know there's that part of you that's envious of people who have that doesn't believe that you could have it, right? You have to believe that it's there for you as well, okay? Because you totally deserve it. Stop blocking yourself off from receiving, okay? And inner strength. This is inner strength. Look at this tiger coming out here. Um, this, this here... <sighs> If you can release your resistance and your fears, right, um, with the gratitude, right, doing that with gratitude, yeah, um, it, it will help to bring forth this inner strength that you possess inside, okay, like, look at this tiger just walking there with, like, I am the man, <laughs> yeah, um, and it's really about accepting your current state, right, surrendering and just going it is what it is and allowing that to empower you okay to bring this inner strength forth because the world needs you i can't stress that enough this is what this whole reading is about the world needs you to shine your light and lead the way at the moment you've dimmed it down and you put yourself in this ice block and you're not allowing yourself to move forward okay and it really is it requires work yeah for sure but you've got it in you you've got the strength to do that because you're burger like come on <laughs> right trust in the process trust in the journey right have faith have faith in yourself okay have faith that you deserve only the best and you will show others around you how to get that for themselves. Okay. Last one, traveling. Yeah. Pave your own way. Virgo, pave your own way. Yeah. Start communicating what it is you need to communicate. Okay. And this, when you do all this, this will happen fast. This will be absolute and it will be your journey. No one else's. Okay. No one else's at all. You won't be doing this anymore. You'll be paving your own way. Okay? With faith and with strength. Go for it, Virgo. You've got this. You totally do. Just go for it. Okay? Okay, Virgo. Thanks for joining me here. And, um, yeah, best of luck with that. Okay, Virgo. See you. Bye-bye.